Hello, welcome to Blue Harvest Toys. This is going to be another one of those videos about the toys from a famous TV show or film. And this time it's going to be Creepy Coop, the Turbo Terrific, the Compact Pussycat and the Mean Machine. They were snapped together kits with press lock parts. The Turbo Terrific had a chrome plated body, though inconsistent with the colours of the animated car. Wacky Racers miniatures also appeared during this era of serial box premiums. Again made by MPC, the models available were the Mi Machine, the Turbo Terrific and the Compact Pussycat. Each moulded in plastic in a single colour. These charming pocket toys had wheels that rolled, much to the delight of the kids who collected them. In 1998, Johnny Lightning produced two Wacky Racers cars as part of the Cartoon Network series. They were sold on a blister card and included a cell from the film strip of the cartoon. Dick Dastardly's Me Machine was accurate to its animated original, missing only its bubble canopy. Penelope Pitstop's compact pussycat was also nicely detailed according to its cartoon original, complete with pink tyres, two tone paintwork, powder blue interior, and umbrella. Penelope's car is considered the rarer find now. Konami released models of all the vehicles in two volumes in 2003. They were small scale molded in plastic, each with a display stand. Konami attempted to accurately duplicate the animated vehicles, so these weren't freewheeling, but for fixed display only. The Mi Machine, with Dick Dastardly and Mutley, was an armed rocket car which could fly. It could also go underwater and had some other trick features dastardly used to get ahead in races. When things went wrong, it would cry his refrain, Motley, do something! The Baldomobile was driven by the cavemen, the Slag Brothers. Those two show were primitive in their ways. If a wheel broke, they'd simply got out, found some rock, and tried to hammer it out with a new one with the clubs. But wait, they have a built-in square one. The Creepy Coop, helmed by the Gruesome Twosome, was a haunted house on wheels. What was hiding in this book eraser? Various creatures which provided special powers. Dragon power enabled them to fly and blow fire, making them practically unbeatable. And if there was a puncher, a snake made a handy tyre replacement. The converted car was Professor Pat Pending's invention. This incredible machine may have been the first transformer, able to change into almost any moving vehicle. They say inventors are crazy, and in this case, wacky. His car could turn into a bowling ball, a speed tortoise, almost anything he pleased. The Crimson Hay Baler, run by Air Ace, the Red Max, was a car aircraft combination, which could fly in short leaps. Unfortunately, most of the time, the Red Max crashed into things, or his propeller reversed, forcing his machine to go backwards. The compact pussycat driven by Penelope Pitstop was a sort of rolling beauty kit with provided makeup, lipstick, massage and even a shower to Penelope all while driving. Penelope's strongest suit was her beauty, causing all the other races to help her when in need, especially Peter Perfect. The Army Surplus Special carrying Sergeant Blast and Private Meekly was cobbled together from a tank, jeep and road roller this car's main ability was in firing its weaponry. The problem was that when doing so, the sergeant's part of the machine was driven backwards. The bulletproof bomb, the Ant Hill Mobs car, emulated the cars of the 1920s gangsters. The seven man and gang was led by Clyde. They primarily used their getaway power, which amounted to running their feet on the ground Flintstone style. Some other tricks they used included the whole gang wearing ice skates to negotiate frozen surfaces, or jetting in arms and treasures to lighten and quicken the car. The Arkansas Chuggabug with Luke and Blubber Bear was a wooden coal stove powered hillbilly mobile. Have you ever seen anyone driving half asleep and steering with his feet? Everything was possible in the wacky races. If they loaded the big stove with too much coal it would explode. Boom, I told you. The Turbo Terrific, helmed by the thoughtful Peter Perfect, was a dragster prone to breakdowns. Peter Perfect was such a gentleman. He always cared and assisted Penelope whenever possible. We all knew he had a huge crush on her. Peter also thought his car was the best, 
but each time he bragged, it fell to pieces. Oh, fiddlesticks. The bus wagon, driven by Rufus Roughcut and Sawtooth, was a lumberjack's vehicle with the circular saw blades for wheels. This car was unstoppable, especially in woodland scenarios, where it chopped trees and branches out of the way as it roared through. Collecting the Konami models, especially in complete set, can be tricky. Some stray single units and the occasional partial group appear on online auctions for about eight to fifty pounds. A rare complete set of both volumes one and two in the collector's boxes are being offered for about three hundred and ten pounds. For those determined treasure hunters, the race is on. So that was a look at Wacky Races. Was Wacky Races your favourite cartoon? Let me know in the comments below. I can actually think of another cartoon that I want to do a video on, and. Please leave in comments what you think that will be and if there's any other properties you want me to talk about. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you're new here, please subscribe. But until the next time, may the toys be with you.